All right, all right. Hello, everyone, and now welcome to game number one in a best of three series between Fly and Life. Game number one taking place here on Tyrannistan as we, as we see Fly spawning as the purple orc over here on the bottom right hand side of the map. Meanwhile, over here on the top left, we see um, Life spawning as the blue night elf and orc versus night elf on Terranistan. We'll see what will be unfolding here as the players are setting up with their pretty standard builds as of now. Altar of Elders, Ancient of War off to the north, early Moonwell just because the Tree of Life only provides 10 supply as to the typical 12 I believe an actual orc burrow does but then uh, or sorry the great hall does but then again moonwell is much more necessary in the build actually I think a great hall only provides 10 supply as well yeah so we'll see how things are going to be unfolding here altar of elders are we going to be looking at a demon hunter or a blade mask and a blade master in this matchup all right, it looks as though the Ultra of Storm should be training up a Blade Master right here as we see a quick placing of that Voodoo Lounge, which means most likely we will be delaying our tech to tier 2, at least for the Orc. Now, coming across um, over here by the Night Elf side, an Archer most likely will be trained. 533 Creep Camp, the Renegade Wizard will get cleared out with all of that damage being absorbed by that Ancient of War. Pretty standard gameplay so far. Now, the big question is, how are these players going to try and transition into the mid game? Are we perhaps going to see some early aggression with that Ancient of War trying to slowly make its way across these top three creep camps to get to level two? Are we going to perhaps see it come down the here and attempt to do an expansion attack. early on? Um, both are rather, rather dangerous possibilities as in this matchup, Orc versus Night Elf, it is very easy to get caught unaware or caught heavily invested in an expansion expansion and then end up losing the game. Um, Archer using that lightning shield rather effectively getting in good damage across multiple units and you're going to see why exactly that lightning shield and that Archer can really uh, dish out that much. Demon Hunter going to go ahead and finish off that last rogue there and now looking to finish off the Apprentice Wizards here. Meanwhile Blade Master going to go ahead and finish off this one lone Apprentice Wizards. We are still waiting on the tech to tier 2. There you go. And that Voodoo Lounge was placed down early but you see there is still no orc, second orc burrow in play so that is a little bit of a risk there only having one blade master and one grunt coming across the other way demon hunter already sitting at level two it looks as though the units are going to be uh, traveling every which way why is this ancient of war going to finish off this apprentice wizard not quite sure he doesn't get the experience he doesn't get the gold as the archer and the wisp now hit, hit making their rounds out an assassin here will most likely get finished off very very quickly should drop a decent item but at what cost as damage will get racked up here all right let's see um what's going to continue to unfold in this matchup between fly and life sorry about that um a little bit of a pause there as the blade master going to be using that healing salve after those apprentice wizards did deal a little bit of damage wants to make sure that you do not end up losing that healing salve charge as we see the renegade wizard here has been left behind a lone grunt is going to be here and the grunt going up against a demon hunter this is actually well not what the demon hunter wanted to see as the grunt and the archer is going to try and focus down these orc burrows if you're able to delay orc burrows in this matchup then you can also delay any additional units and also delay that shadow hunter a delayed shadow hunter is a big big deal archer now trying to run away gonna buy time for this orc burrow to take perhaps a little bit more damage and there it goes another cancellation as the stronghold is yet yet to be completed and another orc burrow does go down tree of ages is about two-thirds of the way done double orc burrow is being placed down now both were canceled and now being rebuilt as he tries to save up some additional Blaze gold for when the orc burrows and the tech to tier two is completed demon hunter now heading back off to the north he is perhaps spending or a lot of his time just holding on to gold as long as he can because he really 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 wants to go for those druids of the talent at tier two staff of teleportation just running around every which way this is just buying time away from the blade master to do any serious creeping as he does go ahead and sell some items ancient of war now back off to the north here demon hunter gonna be able to finish off perhaps mana burn down that forest troll shadow priest that might actually be a good call to prevent a bit of the damage and also get some damage in there as well ancient of war has taken 
um, about half life so far as the Sasquatch gets a dust of appearance, not doing very much of anything as the Blade Master is off here, finishing off a mercenary camp instead. All of these slow units will be coming back. Are they going to be able to get in that damage? There you have it, Blade Master looking to finish off some Mud Golems here. As we see, Fly finishes off one Mud Golem, a second Mud Golem is left, and now finally the Kobold Geomancer and that Kobold Taskmaster. Demon Hunter finishing off the remaining units. Beastmaster low on mana already after casting, I believe, three Quill Beasts as the Blade Master now goes after the last Kobold Taskmaster here. All right, Scroll of the Beast has been left behind. Not the consumable item he was looking for. Perhaps hoping for Potion of Invulnerability, Potion of Greater Healing. Even a potion of greater, uh, uh, even a potion of greater mana would be useful on a Shadow Hunter or a Torrent Chieftain for those shockwaves. Torrent Chieftain should be coming online momentarily. Yes, it is going to be that Torrent Chieftain going up against the Beastmaster. Beastmaster hoping to use those Quill Beasts for a little bit of extra damage, but we'll have to figure out how to deal with those Spirit Walkers. Now. We didn't see any any harassment or delay coming in from life with the Demon Hunter and the Beastmaster. So those Quill Bees didn't really do all that much. Blade Master hoping to finish off the Kobo Taskmaster here takes a little bit of damage. There's a mana burn and the Demon Hunter is, is heavily taking a lot of damage. Needs to try and get away. Demon Hunter could be in trouble. Down to 87 hit points. Down to 89 but will be able to slip away. Potion of Replenishment should be coming online already as the units are now looking to back off. Gauntlets of Ogre Strength plus three. Beastmaster now trying to go back the other way as this Forest Troll Berserker will get finished off as it is slowed by those Mud Golems. All right, units are now trying to pull back here. A little bit of a creep jack potential. Blade Master getting in some high damage, perhaps can deal more here as the Demon Hunter is now back up to full and wants to engage Blade Master now out of mana, but not before wind walking at least once to get that wind walk strike and bonus of 40 damage. Beastmaster has the potion of rejuvenation. Can he stay out of the battle long enough? Raider is now right there as well. Spirit Walker is there. Drops a Quill Beast. And the Raider finally gets a shot off as the, the Replenishment Potion drops him off at 460 hit points. Blade Master is still sitting at level 2. Could try and go after the Mud Golem and the remaining units. And will be able to do exactly that. Blade Master will get to level 3. And the Torrent Chieftain will sit comfortably at level 1 unless the Blade Master backs off. Giving the Torrent Chieftain Players 2. Nope. Blade Master gonna get enough experience just to ruin things for the Torrent Chieftain. Beastmaster continuing to go to town, finishing off the belt of giant strength, giving to the Demon Hunter extra plus six strength on the on the Demon Hunter. Blade Master is right there. Is he gonna go after those units? Yes, it will. Takes down a Ancient of War and a Rogue. Steals a good bit of experience as the Blade Master now gonna be forced to retreat once again. All right, no mana burn there as all of a sudden life is going to be in a bit of trouble as all of his, well, his escape path has been intercept path. intercepted. Back across here, Quill Beast now trying to do a little bit of chase. Squirrel of Town Portal heading back the other way. Little bit of damage. Blade Master will not be able to finish off a Druid of the Talon as all the units are now backing off. 33 over 50 supply trying to train up more and more druids of the talon once again compared to 46 over 50 i do not believe there's a critical mass of druids of the talon yet even with mastery training not yet done this is still a lot of ground to try and cover the demon hunter needs to perhaps look and figure out where to finish off uh, additional creeps get a little bit more gold for a small small advantage Last Kobold Geomancer finally taken out. Tome of Intelligence picked up by the Demon Hunter and will be heading back down to the south. Torrent Chieftain sitting at level 2 will pick up Shockwave. Now most likely effective against those Druids of the Talon. And that backline does tend to melt much more quickly than you would naturally expect. All right, there you go. Wow, beautiful Staff of Preservation right there as the Blade Master now looks to back off. All right, the supply count is now 40 over 50 compared to 49 over 50, a 10 supply difference. Triple heroes, though. If the heroes were all level 3, that would perhaps be a bigger difference. But instead, it is a 3-2-1 up against, a, I believe, a 3-2. As the Hawk does reveal all of these units, Raider's going to go ahead and get an ensnare off, preventing any sort of escape. Torrent Chieftain is in position. Cyclone now being brought in. Shockwave coming across. Mana Burn onto the correct Torrent Chieftain as all the units are looking to engage. Spirit Link being cast across multiple units. 
Uh, Beastmaster is right here as well. Blademaster trying to get into the fight. Torrent Chieftain down to, what, 147 hit points. Very, very low. Is it going to end up falling as... Hit points could perhaps get a little bit more damage across. No, Scroll of Healing does come across in time as the Demon Hunter may get taken down. No, beautiful Staff of Preservation once more as another Ensnare goes down and the Beastmaster unable to save himself as we see the GG. All right, Fly taking game number one over life. Please stay tuned for game number two.